So you've got yourself your fancy new iZettle reader and you're looking to connect iZettle with QuickBox. How easy is that? Hello, my name's Aaron Patrick. I'm a Chartered Accountant, Certified UK Trainer. And today at Boffrix, we're gonna look at how iZettle and QuickBox can be quickly integrated with one another to save on any manual entries. Now this is a great feature and one of the features that I actually really started to recommend iZettle to all our lovely clients. It's so easy to be able to use iZettle to set up a nice cashless business and it then if you have the ability to integrate it directly with QuickBooks it means that every time you make a sale you're confident that, that information is going to get into QuickBooks correctly. Gone in the days where we have to go to the end of a day manually add up a till and then put that information into your bookkeeping solution. Now, every time I sell something on iZettle, I'm confident that that's gonna find its way into QuickBooks correctly. So how do I do that? So first of all, you need to get yourself into iZettle. To do that, uh, log yourself in, and at the very bottom of your iZettle dashboard, you'll see there's an option for integration. So you click on integrations, and here you have a whole list of integrations to go. Today, we wanna to connect to QuickBooks Online. From here, we're gonna go in and press the connect button. At this point then, you need to go in and get it all set up. So all I'm doing is picking my client, and then I just need to authorize that iZettle and QuickBooks can now talk to one another. So I press connect. And then the final bit is you need to make sure you've got everything set up. So you need to go through and make sure you're happy everything's going to the right account. Now, for this particular one, I'm just gonna get it all set up as um, the easiest way as possible. Okay, so what you're doing now is you're connecting everything up, making sure it's all working as intended. And basically you're in control at this point. You, that means you get to decide where all the information goes in QuickBooks and you get to make sure that you're happy that everything's been going to the right place. Once I'm happy with that, I press save. And it's as simple as that. I have now connected my iZettle two QuickBooks, meaning that every time I make a sale, I'm confident that information is gonna go in. Now, the way the information goes in is once a day, your iZettle and your QuickBooks will talk to one another, and they're gonna put that information in based on the criteria you've just set there. So, that means that you're gonna know that each and every day you've completed the day's take-ins, you don't have to do anything else. QuickBooks will automatically be updated for you the next day, and everything will all be lovely and synced up. And that's it. If you need to disconnect for any reason whatsoever, you go back to your integrations, back to QuickBooks, and press the disconnect button over here, then it will stop doing your syncing. You can even pause it by doing the yes or no over here, or change any of the options down below if you're f feeling that you're posting to the wrong place. So that's it. That's everything you need to know about connecting iZettle to your QuickBooks account. Here at Boffix, we're always looking at ways in which making sure that we can get the best way of integrating your business apps with your business. And iZettle is just one of those solutions that's going to help you. Do have a look at our previous video where we talked about the difference between iZettle and Square and see which one of those is the best for you. But thanks to iZettle and QuickBooks having their brand new cooperation and having their brand new way of looking at things means that now has never been the better time to get yourself an EPOS solution and here at Boffix, we highly recommend iZettle. Here at Boffix, we've installed many, many, many EPOS systems for our clients, and we know what's, what the pain points can be. So if you wanna have a conversation about that, don't forget to reach out to us. Use the comments below if there's any other videos you'd wanna look at. And if there's anything else relating to EPOS, do let us know and we'll make sure we look into it for you. My name's been Aaron Patrick. I've been here to give you some advice on how to set up iZettle with QuickBooks itself. See you in the next video.